request for the oral hygiene um, demonstration again. So these are the kind of um, to finger toothbrushes I use. They're called pet o -San. And to come in a bag, um, I do, I buy them off of Amazon. They're microfiber and um, they're just really soft. Then this is the kind of toothpaste I use. This is a, a poultry flavor one. It's the Vi, V I R B A C. And then um, also I use the vanilla mint, which makes their mouth smell really good. Um, on these little toothbrushes, because I have a lot of dogs, I do write the, I do put their initial on it and um, color code them all. So this is Haas's. Um, one thing I wanted to show before we actually go into the toothbrushing is because I have dogs that I show in confirmation, I start with them really young, um, touching their mouths. And so how you do that is just super gently and super soft fingers. You just say teeth, and you'll pull up the top lip and pull down the bottom lip, and um, just get them used to a mouth exam. So if you have a puppy, what you'd want to do is just gently put your finger into their mouth. Um, teach them no bite and then as you explore he starts to open his mouth because he's used to this but um, I just you know put my finger in gently touch his tongue move it back and this is all really gent gently um, I am holding the grooming noose here just so I can hold his head a lot of times I do this on the floor but um, for videoing purposes it's easier on the table so um, when I do it on the floor he just I sit on the floor and he sits on you know, in my lap, and then um, I just explore his mouth and look into it. So you put a little bit of toothpaste on there, and then I like to just kind of put a little tiny bit on their top lip so they start to they start to lick it and then open their mouth. And then you gently work your finger in there. And then as they open, you can go into, um, you can do the inside of their teeth. Good boy. And I just give them, they like the taste of the toothpaste, so I give them a lot of praise for that. Um, the other thing, I, I usually don't do this every single day with all of my dogs. A lot of times what I'll do is I will, um, I will do, I'll brush three of their teeth in the evening and then the other three in the morning. Um, usually do it a few times a week. If they start to smell like dog breath, then I definitely know it's time. And so you really want to get them used to that mouth exam, though. I did have a Karen who had um, who had throat cancer, and that appeared by me. I was able to see it, actually. There was a, a pink bump that developed on his gums, and I was actually able to see it when I was examining his mouth one day. So that was the um, first indication that he had a problem. And then also one time Munchie broke a tooth, and it was the same thing. I was just doing a mouth exam on her, and um, I was able to feel that broken, see that broken tooth. So it's really important to examine the inside of their mouth. Um, just like you're looking, you know, at the rest of their body for, um, you know, fox tails or ticks or anything like that. You still, you don't want to, you don't want to skimp on, um, on examining their mouth. And if they don't want to open, you, what you'll do is you'll stick your finger in between these little premolars here. There's a little gap and you can just stick your fingers right in there and open them up. And again, you do want to do it gently, though. You don't want to force them with anything. And um, when they're puppies, I start with them with peanut butter on the toothbrush. And then I, you know, I, I use my clicker and I click to reward that they're, um, you know, they're doing a good job letting, letting licking off that, that peanut butter from the toothbrush. And so then I would just give them a kick, click when they did that. And then you start to just gently move the... Today we're going to do a toothbrush and demo with a less agreeable dog than Haas. So I have Rowan here. Anyway, how I started with her as a puppy was um, with peanut butter, sugar-free, and um, make sure it doesn't have any other sweeteners in it either, like xylitol. Those are can be poisonous to dogs. Um, so I get this 100% natural peanut butter and just put it on the finger toothbrush. And then when you'll start with your dog, whether it's a puppy or even if it's an adult dog, they like this. So I take my clicker and I just let her lick it. Good girl. And as I start to slip that further in her mouth, I give her a click. Tell her, good girl. Nice job. And I'll try to move it around in there. Um, 
She's trying to back out of the noose, though. Good girl. Nice job. Good girl. So what Rowan mainly objects to, she likes the taste of the, of the toothpaste, and she loves the taste of the peanut butter, but she objects to me holding her head when I'm sticking my finger in her mouth. That's what she mainly doesn't like, is the fact that I'm, I'm holding her head. And she's my wild girl, and she likes to be um, in total control. So when I'm holding her head, that irritates her because I'm more in control than she wants me to be. So now I'm going to put some toothpaste on there. And same thing, I'm going to rub it there on her mouth. I'm holding the noose with these fingers so it doesn't tighten around her neck. And then I am holding with my, with my hand her jaw bones. And just reaching in there. Good girl and go and do the other side. Nice job. Good girl, baby girl. 